Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today, we're talking about major league managers and arguing with umpires. I've been asked a lot, why do some managers seem like they go out there and argue and they'll just continue to argue until they get tossed? Is that really what they're doing? How does it all work? So I'm going to I'm gonna give you a couple examples. I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience with managers um, arguing with umpires, okay? Before we get into it, today's video is powered by Triton. If you follow our stuff, you know our Antonio baseball teams wear Triton gear and jersey, jerseys. They do an amazing job. Go check them out. Go to custombaseballjerseys.com. You can see everything they make right over there. Okay, so there's a couple of things. Um, the question, again, revolves around why does it seem like managers will argue until they get ejected? Are they doing that on purpose? So let's just kind of talk about that for a second. There's been plenty of times where... I've seen a manager basically tell us that he's going to get tossed, right? So there's a bad play that happens. It's just a horrible call or there's been multiple horrible calls, right? And I've seen managers be like, all right, fellas, I'll see you later. <laughs> and literally like basically tell us I'm getting thrown out. And then they'll go on to the field. Now, some of them get thrown out immediately, right? There's certain words that you can't use uh, if you've ever seen... Uh, you know, Bull Durham, uh, there's certain words, like I, I can't really say them on here, but you just can't use them towards umpires and they're going to get you tossed, okay? Now, usually as a manager, you can say things like that's the worst, you can put as many F words and swear words as you, can, as you want and you usually won't get ejected, right? So you can make that's the worst F and call I've ever effing scene, just keep dropping F-bombs and keep talking about the play and the call and how bad it was. And usually you won't be thrown out unless you just continue to do it over and over again, to basically to the point where the umpire is going to say, listen, like you're going to get off the field or you're going to go. And if you keep it up, then they'll, they'll heave you. Okay. So I've seen that happen a couple times. I've seen sometimes the manager runs right out there and just goes right to like the words that you can't use. And usually it's when you say like you and then you call them a really bad name or you and you talk about how terrible of an umpire they are, right? So when you start going to like you and then you start dropping like really bad words at them, that's usually uh, see you later right away, okay? And so I've seen that, I've seen both. I've seen the, uh, a manager be like, see you guys, I'll uh, see you after the game and then just take off and just call them a you know what right out, right out the gate and see you later and then he just goes ballistic. Um, I've also seen them, again, just talk about how the umpire's call was the worst thing you'd ever seen. And they just keep going over and over and over again until there's really no choice to, but to give, give them the heave-ho. So I've definitely seen that. Um, I think another thing is that depending on, on the call, managers feel like they have to stick up for their players, right? Again, depending on, on what the call is, okay? And there's a, lot of obvious, there's a lot of examples, but when something happens to their player... Sometimes the manager feels like they need to protect the player. They need to stand up for the player. They don't want to get the player thrown out, so they're going to say, "I'm going on this one, right? I'm going to take, I'm going to take the bullet for the guy," and they'll just get tossed, right? They'll just either they just blast the guy and they say, "I'm going to blast them again." There's different strategies. I'm going to blast the guy and just let everybody know. And when I feel like I've got enough in, then I'll stop and go back to the dugout. Or they say, "No, no, I'm getting tossed for this one. I'm really going to make it a good one." And they just light the umpire up. Um, and again, a lot of it is standing up for their player, right? Their player, they don't want the player to get ejected. There's only so much the player can say without being ejected. And so, again, the manager gets ejected. Like, it's much more valuable to have a player, let's say that. Especially if it's, like, one of the really, really good players on the team. Not to say the managers don't do anything. But, you know, if it's Javi Baez or if it's, you know... Arenado or whoever it's one of the better players in the team like the manager wants that player in the game and so they'll they'll take it out of the umpire and they'll get tossed there's also other times where you know like when you think about like the grenade throw like you've seen like certain things where basically it looks like the manager says like again I'm getting tossed and I'm going to do something absolutely ridiculous so you've seen the the grenade toss from the back of the mound which was maybe one of the all-time classic ones um you know I've seen like 
throwing bats on the field and just emptying equipment and tossing trash cans and all kinds of crazy stuff. So obviously there, you know, sometimes the umpiring is just so bad, so bad that the coach just loses his mind. I mean, sometimes they might not even go out planning on getting tossed, um, but they just lose it because the call is so atrocious that um, they can't help themselves and they just start you know, throwing bats on the field and, and balls. And, you know, sometimes it's just a long season. Maybe the, maybe, maybe the manager's having a bad day and, uh, and it just, he, just, he just loses it. I've also seen sometimes where, especially in the minor leagues, when it's been like a really, really bad road trip, right? Like it's been a really long trip. Maybe we're losing a lot of games and, you know, the manager just, you know, he just, maybe he just wants to relax that night. And, he, and it's like, Ooh, I see a, I see something here that can get me out of this game. I can go get tossed. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go hit the showers, and they just lose it, and basically say you gotta throw me out. I, I sometimes I wonder if they say, hey, just toss me out of the game. I don't want to be here right now. We're getting killed. I've been on the road for 14 straight days. I'm sick of eating peanut butter and jellies. Just please toss me. Get me the hell out of here. I, I feel like that's happened a couple times also. So those are kind of a bunch of different things that I see with umpires and why they would ultimately get tossed, why it might look like sometimes they're trying to get tossed because sometimes they are trying to get tossed. Sometimes they just, they're not trying, but they just lose their mind so bad that they end up getting tossed anyway. So there's a bunch of different examples. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any more questions. Subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.